This video will illustrate the use of Quick Grid in Adobe Acrobat Pro to go ahead and make a contour map from arbitrary data. Let's suppose we start out with this figure and each of these red points is labeled with an elevation. We're going to need to produce a table of XY coordinates uh, that correspond to each of those positions of the red things and their Z coordinates will be their elevation in feet and we'll need to scale it. The tool that I find useful for doing that is Acrobat Pro. And here is Acrobat Pro after using the measuring tools. And there's quite a few lines on here. Let me show you how I got one of them and you'll be able to figure out the rest on your own. I use the uh, analysis toolkit, measuring tool, and I started off first by measuring the length of 300 feet which I recorded as 1.65 inches in the example that you're watching on the video it's 1.61 inches but I was working at a different uh, physical scale of the drawing so as long as I don't change the physical scale of the drawing um, we're, we're pretty close. Then I went ahead and um, measured each of the dots, the X and Y coordinates, and recorded them here in this spreadsheet. Notice the scaling information's up there. Next, once I had it in the spreadsheet, I converted the X and Y coordinates into feet by multiplying their measured value by 300 and then dividing that result by 1.65 inches per 300 feet to get X and Y coordinates in feet and then I recorded the various Z levels. Over here to the right, the tool we're going to use expects the data to be comma delimited and out of laziness the easiest way I could think of was to use the concatenate function in Excel and, and simply put the three columns together and insert commas between them. And so that's what's done here. Then I copied the contents of that column to a file called elevationfile2.txt which is shown here and you'll see the uh, spaces, excuse me, there's the numerical value, a comma, the x coordinate, uh, excuse me, the y coordinate, the z coordinate, and the next one, x, y, z, so it just expects everything in x, y, z format. Then I went ahead and used a tool that I'd written a long time ago called Mac to Unix because sometimes when you do the copy and paste you get um, hidden characters in it. Let's see if I have an example of them. I don't. Um, oh, I can create that quite quickly. Let me go ahead and open the file. We'll go back to the Excel spreadsheet. We'll go back to the Excel spreadsheet. There it is. And if I were to grab these, choose copy, paste them right there, it looks to you and me like it just did it fine. But if we go look at the contents of the file, we'll see these odd characters. This um, It's actually basically a control, pretty sure that's control VM, all pressed at once if you tried to create it on the keyboard. It's a character that comes out uh, the difference between a old um, DOS-based program and um, more conventional Linux-based programs. However, I have a script from a long time ago called Mac to Unix, and it's a simple shell script that uh, strips these characters from an ASCII file, saves the result to a temp file, then um, uh, moves the temp file back into the destination file. So we'll go ahead and run that script. We'll go ahead and check the elevation file. And lo and behold, now everything's uh, in ship shape. The next tool we want to use is Quick Grid. We're going to grid this data and generate a contour map. So I'm cheating here. I already have it, but let me go ahead and uh, input scatter data points, metric data points, tell it the file you want to use, choose open, and it, and it does the uh, uh, gridding for us. 
And then we might want to mess with contour intervals. Um, maybe make them five foot apart. That's probably too many. Um, let's make them six foot apart. I love unlabeled lines. These should be every two feet. I like that map. Let's suppose I like that map. There's some other parameters you can mess with in the uh, program to um, change the shape and do some smoothing. I now want to copy that clipboard, copy it to the clipboard as a bitmap. And next thing I'm going to do on Macintosh World, I am going to use Preview. Open the file from the preview, and the background currently is is white. So first, I want to save the file. I'm going to save it as a PNG file. Clobber it. Then I'm going to take advantage of some cool features of the uh, previewer. Markup toolbar. Take the magic wand. Everything that's orange, I'm going to delete. Oops, that was a mistake. There. Everything that's gray will now render as transparent. Hit the save. And now I have a contour map, uh, PNG format. And I can put it back on my original drawing. The way to do that is bring up the contour map, edit, select all, edit, copy, go to here, paste it. And now, because I left points on the map, I can simply resize it. If it would behave. Hard part is finding the handles. There we go. So this takes a little bit of time. I'll fuss with it offline. And after a considerable amount of fussing, I've got them lined up uh, pretty good. So that's adjusting the two layers on top of each other. Now, admittedly, that's a fairly busy picture, but it does now give us the ability to look at the drainage pattern for this particular uh, subdivision based on these contour lines, and it kind of drains down towards Silver Lake. Uh, that's how you use Quick Grid and uh, various uh, measurement tools to generate contour maps. Um, I used a Macintosh. Uh, all this same task can be accomplished using the tools that are built into a Windows operating system.